thanks to Lore Coffee for sponsoring a portion of this video. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode. This week we're touring the stunning 9.9 acre estate located on Havea Point within the famed Kapalua Resort here in Maui. This home features seven bedrooms, 10 bathrooms, on the market for $41.9 million. And with that asking price, it is the most expensive home for sale in the state of Hawaii. I wanna give big thanks to the listing agents, Tyler Coons and Andrea Dunn for making this tour possible. And now let's begin our tour. This property is situated on this 9.9 .9 acre lot. From the street level, we have the gates opening up to a private driveway. And that private driveway brings you to this point where we have the motor court. Driveway is nicely lined with palm trees, beautiful landscaping. And right in the center of this motor court, we have this grass section with a water feature. This water feature is also your koi pond, which is super cool. And the layout of this property is really unique. So, on my right hand side, we have an exterior hallway and that hallway opens up the four guest rooms that we will see later in the tour. On my left hand side, we have these French doors opening up to the gym. It comes with a stationary bike, treadmill, few weights, and you can access this gym through the French doors here or through the three car garage, which is on the left hand side. We have stuck on the exterior, fleet with glass doors and windows, this custom green tile roof throughout, and with the palm trees, this driveway, landscaping, this entry sets a great tone for the rest of the property. Armand is behind the camera today. It's his first time in Hawaii. Armand, what do you think so far? This is my first time in Hawaii, and I'm super excited because of the house is incredible. House is incredible. Views are stunning. I used to come to Maui all the time when I was a professional windsurfer. So this episode is a little bit more special. And yes, Armand, I'm also very excited for this tour. Let's continue. Now, right in front of me, we have the covered section. This is a great feature. You can park your car here, especially when it's raining. That way you can stay dry. Take these steps, open these glass double doors to access your central courtyard. This is a phenomenal space with a water feature right in the center. This water feature is also your fire feature. We have outdoor seating areas throughout. On each corner, we have these built-in umbrellas, which complements the outdoor seating areas. You can see all these exterior hallways that connect all the rooms to each other. And on each corner, we also have these openings with glass screens, allowing more natural air to come into the courtyard and improve the airflow here. Now, on the right-hand side, we have the guest house. Right in front of me, we have the entertainment room. Behind me, on the left, we have a powder room for the courtyard that comes with two sinks. Right here, we have a door opening up to the steam room, and this is a great private space for you to enjoy, throw parties, entertain. And lastly, we have this wing here. Now, on the right-hand side, we have the primary bedroom. On the left-hand side, we have the hallway, taking us to the four guest rooms that we will see in a bit. And lastly, we have these double glass pivot doors opening up to the great room. Now, this is without a doubt one of my favorite rooms in this house. Bolted ceilings, great volume, flee with sliding glass doors, open up this entire room to the outdoors, your infinity edge pool, Namalu Bay right in front of us, stunning views. And these two columns allow the front to be totally open. You can even open up the sides and really connect this room to the outdoors. I love the wood clad ceilings ceiling fan right in the center. And first, let's talk about the seating area here. Sectional leather couch, two chairs, TVs on this side with built-in speakers. Right in the center, we have this really unique coffee table. And Armand, can we get a close-up? There's a stainless steel bowl that is constantly moving. Inside layer of this table is all sand, and it just creates this beautiful pattern. Once it's done with the pattern, it waits for like 30 minutes, and then it starts another pattern. 
which is super cool. I've never seen a piece of furniture like this before. Uh, if anybody knows the brand, let us know in the comment section below. Now this is a great seating area. Behind Iron Man, we have a door opening up to a powder room for this level. Small seating area here. Another seating area on this side with a coffee table right in the center. Wood class ceilings give ton of warmth to the space. And right in the center, we have the dining area. I really like this glass table with a metal frame and legs. These chairs look so modern and elegant. Seating for eight, located right in the center of the great room, and it complements your kitchen, which is on this side. This portion of the video is sponsored by Lore Coffee. Before we continue our tour of this property, I wanna talk about something that's really near and dear to my heart, coffee. By this point, most of you know that I love coffee. I drink it all the time, in the morning, in the afternoon, and at night, if I have to work late. And with all the travel that we do, coffee is one of the only constants in my life, and that's why I'm so happy to be partnered with Lord Coffee on this video. The Lord Barista system is a high pressure artisan coffee and espresso system that uses 19 bars of pressure to produce a rich velvet crema on each cup. Crema is the result of coffee bean oils emulsifying during the brewing process, which create micro bubbles and add a silkiness to each sip. This additional silkiness makes for a superior tasting cup. Crema is Lord's sign of coffee quality. The Lore Barista system is designed to work with Lore single serve coffee and is also compatible with other aluminum espresso capsules, which are fully recyclable and I like that. The Lore Barista system provides you with the opportunity to mix up and create a variety of drinks for all occasions, no matter what time it is. So if you're like me, you can drink it in the morning, afternoon or at night. The Lore Barista system has six different sizes of drinks ranging from small to large, and it's perfect for making iced coffee. Whether you're in the mood for espresso, you can take it in three different sizes. Or if you're in the mood for coffee, you can choose your size for that as well. The Lord Barista system can help to create creamy lattes or delicious cappuccinos. So I love the variety I can get out of this one machine. In French, Lore means gold. And it's no coincidence that Lore Coffee was created to set a gold standard for coffee. You can purchase the Lore Barista system Lore Coffee and Espresso Capsules on Amazon. Again, big thanks to Lore Coffee for sponsoring this portion of this video. And now let's get back to our tour. This is a beautiful kitchen. More of these warm wood tones with the cabinetry. Right in the center, we have the island with a resin countertop, bar stools that look very contemporary. Nice seating area here. Then we have the first set of built-ins on this side, microwave, oven, your paneled freezer and fridge is located here. Your base cabinets, marble countertop, and they use the same marble as a backsplash here. Thermador gas cooked up, vent above, upper cabinets, and we have this sink right here. There's a nice casement window right in front of it. That way you can enjoy the ocean views from your kitchen. Same vaulted ceiling design is also here, clad with this beautiful wood tone, cove lighting to cozy up the space and that's pretty much it for your kitchen. It's nice and open, and it's part of your great room. Now, Armand, let's take everybody this way. We talked about these smaller seating areas, fully with sliding glass doors open up, seamless transition. By the way, all the furniture is included with the sale of this property. And here we are at the backyard. Now, this backyard is stunning. Same travertine continues to the exterior. We have two water features that overflow to each other and then to the infinity edge pool. Arman, why don't we go this way so we can talk about the outdoor kitchen here. First bar seating on this side, second bar seating on my left, marble countertops. Right in the center, we have the wolf gas grill, sink, and this is a great space that complements your backyard. Now, let's talk about the pool setup. It looks stunning, mosaic clad throughout. Baja shelf and the jacuzzi is on the left-hand side. Infinity edge, these views are breathtaking, I mean, this is gorgeous. Namalua Bay right in front of us, Kapalua Bay right next to that. The island on our right hand side is Molokai and the island that is right in front of us is Lanai. These views are breathtaking. You have the ocean right in front of you. It constantly moves and changes and this is such a relaxing view. I mean, I love this place. You have palm trees on each side, travertine around your pool, lounging areas, built-in umbrellas. This backyard setup is stunning. Now, I wanna take everybody this way so we can talk about the grounds. 
Havea Point is the name of the peninsula or this promontory that we're situated on. It's this natural rock formation. Because of our elevation, the views we get are simply stunning. You have a small walkway here that takes you to a gate and that gate is your private beach access. This beach is known for snorkeling and cliff diving. Our grounds are fantastic. We're situated on 9.9 .9 acres and it's all to yourself. You don't have any neighbors and this is really what you're paying for. I mean, this is the most expensive home currently on the market in the state of Hawaii, but this peninsula, this setting, the privacy, the home itself is such a unique offering and that's really what you're paying for. Now let's turn back so we can talk about the house itself single story home sliding glass doors open up to the outdoors that's the great room right there i really like this green tile roof which helps it blend with the landscaping around and this section here is where we have the guest suites in total we have four bedrooms here i'm going to start our tour with this one small patio space outdoor shower shared by the guest room on the other side we have fleet with sliding glass doors opening up seamless transition we have the king size bed here I love this modern bed frame, two side tables, open bathroom design here, right in the center. We have this freestanding tub with a built-in shelf around it, two sinks, beautiful vanity, and glass door opens up to your walk-in shower with a rain head, old travertine clad, massive TV here, dressing table, small desk setup, which is a really cool accessory, built-in closets, and I really like that these bedrooms or these guest suites open up to the grounds and to these views. They also have their own private entry with a lock, which means you can use these bedrooms as small hotel rooms. Now, we're back at the motor court. This exterior hallway takes us to the second guest room, which starts here. It's pretty much the same layout. You have your open bathroom here with two sinks, glass enclosed walk-in shower, freestanding tub. Your bed is situated here. Another big TV, fleet with sliding glass doors open up to a private patio, outdoor shower, and I really appreciate that these guest suites all have a really nice bathroom, spacious bed area, private patios, outdoor showers. They have all these amenities within the room itself. Now, let's continue our tour. I wanna to take everybody back to this exterior hallway. Again, we have the motor court on our left-hand side. This hallway takes us to the third guest suite, and I really appreciate the indoor-outdoor flow of this property. When you think about it, we don't have any interior hallways. You have to walk outside to get to the next room. It allows you to interact with nature and it allows you to enjoy the amazing weather that we have here in Maui. Now, this is the third guest suite, another king size bed, fully with sliding glass doors open up, another private patio, incredible views. You have your open bathroom here. And in case you want some privacy, they actually have these built-in curtains to create some separation between the bathroom and the bedroom itself. And these rooms are perfect for your guests or your family members. Now, let's continue back to the exterior hallway. We have this door opening up to the last guest suite. Pretty much the same finishes. Again, we have the bathroom and the shower on this side. Your bed is situated here. Flee with glass doors open up to these incredible views. Now, that's pretty much it for the guest wing. Now, I wanna take everybody back to the courtyard so we can continue our tour with the primary bedroom suite. Again, we have the doors here opening up to the great room. This courtyard allows all these rooms to get natural light. And coming here, this exterior hallway takes us to the primary bedroom wing. King size bed right in the center. We have a small seating area here, high ceilings, mood lighting throughout, plaster walls. Room has a very cozy feel. Then we have these fleet with sliding glass doors opening up to your grounds and to these breathtaking views. This set of sliding glass doors takes you to the backyard. Out on the distance, you can see the island of Molokai, and I'm gonna talk more about these grounds in a bit. Now, this primary bedroom suite comes with two bathrooms. We have the first one here. This is your outdoor bathroom, but I wanna start our tour with the indoor bathroom, which starts here. Floating vanity with two sinks, natural stone countertop, mirror assembly here with two built-in medicine cabinets, and you have some additional plugs here. Then, right where Arman is, we have a water closet with a stone waste cutting. Then on my left-hand side, we have the walk-in shower. I really like this glass barn door. Travertine clad throughout for the most part. And on this wall, we have this book match, backlit onyx stone, which looks stunning. Brush nickel fixtures, 
two rain heads. This door opens up to your outdoor shower that is facing the backyard. And lastly, we have the freestanding tub here, brush nickel, floor mount tub filler. We have sliding glass windows here, opening up to the views. We currently have this glass assembly clear, but with a push of a button, you can frost this glass for some additional privacy. Overall, beautiful bathroom, and it flows straight to your walk-in closet. Built-in cabinetry throughout for all your clothes. Right in the center, we have this massive safe. And continuing our tour, we're back at the entry of this primary bedroom. Now, I wanna to tour the second bathroom here, which is your outdoor bathroom. This space is so cool. Right above us, we have this glass roof assembly. And below this glass roof assembly, we have these openings with screens allowing natural air and natural light to come into this space. Then you have your fleet with sliding glass doors with seamless transition to the outdoors. Right in the center of this bathroom, we have this freestanding tub with a tub filler. Then your open showers on this side with two rain heads, onyx slab that creates a beautiful contrast against travertine walls. Your handheld is here. This glass enclosed section is your water closet. You have your toilet, modern pedestal sink, and lastly, I want to talk about this detail. We mentioned it at the courtyard. We have these openings with glass screens allowing more natural air to come in. It helps with the airflow in the courtyard as well as this bathroom. Also, in case you're wondering about the privacy, you have a built-in shade here. You can close it off that way. No one can see you from this hallway. Now, that's pretty much it for this outdoor bathroom. Now I want to go outside so we can check out the grounds on this side. 9.9 .9 acres. You have this entire promontory all to yourself, no neighbors, beautiful grounds, breathtaking views. We have the island of Molokai on the distance, Onoloa Bay right behind me. I mean, it feels amazing to be here and I feel like if I owned a property like this, I would spend majority of my time outside, hanging around in different parts of this backyard, drinking a coffee, reading a book, just enjoy being in Maui. It's also really windy today, so I'm gonna do our best to protect our mic. But that's pretty much it for the grounds. Setting here is just stunning. Now, coming this way, we have this covered seating area. It actually leads us to the entertainment lounge. Two glass pivot doors here. And as we go in, we have the pool table on my right-hand side, chandelier above, vaulted ceilings, mood lighting throughout. We have some built-in shelving here, small bar area with a fridge to complement the space. Then facing back to the ocean, we have two massive picture windows. And in front of these windows, we have small seating areas. Your sectional couch is located here. More light fixtures above, just a phenomenal space. And I feel like this is a great space to entertain, have friends over, throw parties, flow straight to the grounds. And as you guys can see, you can just open up these glass pivot doors, have great natural airflow. It just feels amazing to be here. Now, let's continue our tour. Back to the central courtyard. I'm gonna take this hallway here. By the way, on these walkways or in the central courtyard, we have outdoor speakers, built-in seating areas, ceiling mount planters. These French doors open up to the side of the property and coming back here, picture window from the guest house. And we have these double doors opening up to the guest house itself. This part of the house comes with two bedrooms, this open seating dining area right in the center, and we have the kitchen on this side. I love the vaulted ceilings here that are wood clad with mood lighting. It just warms up the space and goes really well with the hardwood floors that we have throughout. Again, you have your dining area in the center, TV on this side. This is basically your little hangout area for these two bedrooms that we're gonna tour. Let's start with this bedroom. We have a pocket door here that seals it off. Two bunk beds, built-in cabinetry here with a desk set up right in the center. Facing these ocean views, double doors open up to the side of the property. Overall, good size guest bedroom, and this would be a phenomenal space for kids. Now, let's go back to the dining area so we can check out the second bedroom. It starts here. This one also comes with bunk beds, built-in cabinetry, another desk set up, picture window facing the courtyard, and I really like that they kept the wall in between these two bedrooms a little bit more lower. That way, natural light can travel throughout the space or throughout the guest house. Now, that's it for the bedrooms. I wanna take everybody this way so we can check out this kitchen. They use the same wood tone cabinetry that we saw at the main kitchen, also here. This is a phenomenal space, massive island right in the center, ton of cabinetry, your 48 inch 
Thermador Gasto is located here. Dual elevation with the bar seating that opens up to your dining area, vent above. Windows on this side, your first sink, first dishwasher is here. And then we have the second sink and second dishwasher on the other side. You have a massive Thermador commercial fridge here, full size wine fridge, bolted ceilings above, again, wood clad. And this house recently been through a major remodel and this kitchen was part of that remodel as well. Overall, beautiful space. And this kitchen is designed like a caterer's or chef's kitchen because you can access the courtyard from here as well as the three car garage and the motor court. On top of that, on the back, we have a commercial pantry with multiple freezers. That way your chef, your caterers can come here, prepare the food, service the courtyard or the rest of the property. Now, let's continue our tour. We have a door here opening up to the laundry room, two washers, two dryers, sink. We have plenty of cabinetry. Then we have another door that opens up the hallway, which then leads us to the three car garage. On the left hand side, we have additional three washers and three dryers. So in total, you have five sets of washer and dryers, which is super cool. Considering the amount of bedrooms and rooms you have, these laundry machines come in handy. Now, let's come here. French doors opening up to the motor court. Then we have this door opening up to the commercial pantry. When I said commercial pantry, I meant it. You have all these freezers and fridges. Then you have built-in cabinetry here and check this out. Arma, right, can we get a close up? These all pull out. That way you can utilize the space all the way to the back very easily. And it just complements the guest house kitchen. Wrapping around, it gets better. You have additional cabinetry here. Overall, this is a phenomenal space that complements the guest house kitchen. Now, let's open up this door so we can check out the side of the property where you can access the grounds. They have a small orchard here with avocado, orange, and banana trees, which is great since it's right next to your kitchen. Grounds of this property is so beautiful. They maintain it so well. House itself is in a pristine condition and I feel like someone can do a lot with this property. They have approved plans for 10,000 square foot addition and a pool cabana, which means someone can expand this property in the future. Overall, it feels amazing to be here and I'm really glad we came all the way out to Maui to tour this property and share it with all of you. All right, everyone, that's it from Javier Point. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I want to give big thanks to the listing agents, Tyler Coons and Andrea Dunn for making this video possible. And you can find more information about this listing in the description of this video. Lastly, if you enjoyed the tour, give us a like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week.